Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a cross plane and a flat plane crankshafts, uh, which are used in specifically motorcycles. And uh, I'm going to be making a separate video uh, about the cross plane and flat plane crankshafts, uh, which are used in cars. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you observe the flat plane crankshaft, you can see that all the linkage pro providing for the pistons are, are in the opposite direction. The crankshaft is placed in a 180 degree crank angle. So 180 degree is uh, actually the most commonly used inline four configurations uh, engines uh, about the crankshaft angle. Because of this 180 degree crank angle uh, in inline fours, uh, the sound is very smooth and uh, it's very it's soothing to ears when you consider the cross plane crankshaft uh, it's not like that uh, if you observe the cross plane crankshaft the cross link the crank linkage to the pistons is uh, divided into 90 degree crank angle so this 90 degree crank angle provides a much more aggressive delivery of the power so in terms of sound, it's not at all smooth like the 180 degree crank angle inline force. Uh, it's very rough and uh, it sounds like one of the V4 engine. And uh, I'm going to be taking example of Yamaha R1 inline four, which is using 180 degree crank angle. I'm going to be taking an example of a CBR uh, 1000RR or the fire blade. So if in terms of power delivery, the first uh, thing everyone wants is the power delivery so that's what uh, made the Yamaha R1 so famous and uh, track weapon and uh, in the year of uh, 2003 Yamaha developed this uh, cross plane crank angled uh, crankshaft for their MotoGP technology so after that uh, when they were about to test it out they called one of the most the legendary uh, MotoGP racer Valentino Rossi to test it out on the track and uh, the immediate reply from Rossi was that that was the most amazing engine he has ever ridden on so after that Yamaha has been continuing a uh, cross plane crankshaft in their MotoGP technology and uh, when it comes to Yamaha R1 the uh, road going model they introduced this cross plane crankshaft in 2009 and after that all the yamaha r1 models have been using this configuration and when it comes to flat plane crankshaft uh, cbr has been using the normal 180 degree crank angle uh, flat plane crankshaft since its origin and even now it uses the same crankshaft now cross plane crankshaft the first priority they used uh, this cross plane crankshaft is because of the power delivery. Uh, Rossi, when he was uh, racing, was not able to find uh, that amount of uh, power delivery when he was exiting a corner in the uh, flat plane crankshaft at inline four cylinders. So that's the reason he opted for cross plane crankshafts, and he shifted to Yamaha R1 or the Yamaha Racing Team after 2003. So uh, this is the one of the best reason why he why the Yamaha R1 is differentiated uh, to another later class motorcycles. The second reason why this motorcycle is uh, or this crash plane crankshaft is so famous is because of the exhaust note, and uh, this sound is different from any other motorcycles which is uh, using an inline four. Have a listen to it. Uh, famous for its aggressiveness and uh, in the first gear it can give a tough competition on any bike in the uh, world that's the amount of aggression that this bike has now when you buy a cross plane crankshaft bike the most common thing is uh, 
whenever you went on whenever you want to replace the crankshaft it's very difficult to find you have to approach the specific brand to get that cross plane crankshaft and that and sometimes you have to wait for two months sometimes you have to wait for three months so this is the most annoying thing about uh, this type of you cannot uh, get the parts that easily compared to other bikes now if you can get over that you are well and good when it comes to flat plane crankshafts the power delivery is one of the most uh, hated and one of the most loved as well now i'm going to take it to positive side uh, because uh, you don't want that type of aggression as a cross plane crankshaft because cross plane crankshafts produce same amount of power from 1000 rpm to the rev limit whereas the flat plane crankshafts are not like that they take some time because the crank angle is 180 degree it takes much more time to get that uh, power band so when it starts revving up revving up revving up it builds power so as the revs keeps climbing the power builds and builds and builds and at specific rpm uh, like 6 to 7000 rpm is when these type of engines come into life and they just jerk into <laughs> space or like you feel like you are on a spaceship and you have launched into mars or uh, to the some other planet that's the you can say that is an advantage because you are not scared to death at initial uh, time whenever you open the throttle and uh, it is one of the most uh, annoying thing as well because you have to be in that rev band to get that <laughs> like that power or you are kicking the pants like feeling in the flat plane crank crankshafts and uh, one other uh, another advantage is uh, the availability of parts and because this is so common you can get it for cheap price and also variety of uh, uh, flat plane crankshafts because so many manufacturer adopt this type of uh, crankshaft technology so it is very easy to find and uh, it's that cheap as well or the engine produce some vibrations you can add and counterbalancing of a crankshaft uh, so that the vibrations have are contained and this is very much easy on the flat plane crankshaft compared to cross plane crankshaft that's the reason the yamaha r1 is so raw and uh, it's just want to be revving and it just needs to go at a speed and it just needs speed that's it it's not like the calm and the composing inline force of the flat plane crankshafts so these are, and the disadvantage of uh, flat plane crankshaft is as i explained already the bottom end is nothing it sucks that's the um, best compliment i can give it to flat plane crankshafts you can take it as an advantage as well but uh, the ones who take it on to track want that bottom end so that they can take a lead in the beginning only so that's all with this uh, video guys and uh, if you find this video helpful or uh, if you gained anything uh, that is useful for you or informational make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, i will be bringing up more content like this Uh, make sure you don't panic because of the issues going around nowadays and uh, be strong there is nothing to panic stay safe and uh, stay at home guys peace